here. Another episode. First lesson of the ninth class. Our uh, Earth. You see our Earth in the universe. It is a uh, one of the planet in the solar system. This is the planet. This is our Earth. It is only supporting. It is only supporting the life. Animals, human life, and other uh, natural vegetation, forest, like all this life is supporting our earth. So many reasons are there for this. Is. Other planets are not supporting. Our planet is only supporting. Beginning onwards. From the beginning onwards, the human being is always trying to get the benefits from the earth. Always trying to get the benefits from the earth. Its natural resources are the utilizing since ancient time onwards. So, like here is from the beginning onwards, ancient time onwards. Is uh, Earth is uh, always exploiting, always exploiting. What are exploiting it is uh, natural resources such as uh, rocks, water resources, and other uh, vegetations, uh, forest vegetations, soils. Like everything is which is available on the Earth surface that is uh, exploited by the human being. This is the exploitation is not only a small, it is a very high exploitation is there. How it is reached, even nowadays, it is creating a environmental imbalance. It is creating a environmental imbalance. So that is leading to the environmental crisis. Environmental crisis. See what is this is an environmental crisis. So how much vegetations are required to maintain the ecological balance that is disappearing. How much animals are there? How much other resources are there? That is all what is degrading nowadays because of the reckless, careless uh, exploitation of uh, human beings. So then leading to the, what is here is the environmental uh, crisis. What do you mean the environmental crisis? Imbalance in the natural resources, imbalance in the ecological system, ecosystem, Leading to the poisonous of gases, leading to the poisonous of water resources, leading to the poisonous of soils. Like all this is happening, then we can see, we can say this is what is the environmental crisis. And uh, this is the environmental crisis is caused by the human beings. Life. How it is reached? So, this is the exploitation not only to the animals, not only to the vegetations, not only to the water resources, not only to the soils. Even this is exploitation is also at the peak level. It is dangerous to the human beings also. Even human beings, human life is also spoiling by this the exploitation of the natural resources. So thus we can see there is a environmental crisis is there. 
in the earlier classes in the seventh class and in the eighth class like in all these the classes how is the earth is supporting the life how this is the uh, what is the um, cause the, for the existence of life like all those things also we studied and uh, now here is the concept is what is our earth we are going to discuss the details say about the earth at the interior what is there earth on the earth surface what is there how it is useful to the mankind human beings so here on the earth surface which are the things are there which are the resources are there they are all what is related with the each other they are depends upon each other for example human beings are depends upon the air and for example animals are depends upon the natural resources like here is what are the elements or resources are available on the earth surface they are all depends upon the each other human beings are depends upon the soils so like here is one is interact with the another the air is interact with the human beings the land is interact with the human beings the human beings are interact with the related with the resources how they are these are all we are going to discuss in the coming chapter in the coming uh, concepts so but now so what is uh, our universe our universe ancient time onwards from the beginning onwards the human being is always try to understand about the universe he is always investigating about the universe what are these celestial bodies are there what is this is a sun what is this is the moon what are the other planets are there how they are changing their positions is there any impact is there of the sun moon and other planets on the life of the human beings like uh, these are all the things are investigating from the beginning onwards uh, the mankind so like uh, the human beings are the known some knowledge about that the sun knowledge about that the earth knowledge about the so what is that uh, knowledge means uh, so nearly what is in the beginning ptolemy was said that in this is the universe the earth is in the center the other uh, celestial bodies such as the sun and other uh, what planets your thing is uh, revolving uh, rotating uh, uh, around the revolving around the earth like uh, a theory was uh, um, what is it, formulated by the who is uh, ptolemy this is the theory we have called what is a geocentric theory geocentric theory so this is a theory was uh, who was uh, promoted means ptolemy and even uh, in our country also 3005 years uh, ago who are the which is the vedanga jyotisha surya siddhanta even what is bhagavat purana like these are all what is also saying about that the universe they are also descriptive about that the universe sun moon and the earth and their movements and everything is uh, written in all this is the literature so like here is we can see from the beginning onwards uh, until today 
the mankind, the human being is always uh, wanted to try to understand, investigate uh, about the universe, uh, sun, moon, uh, earth, uh, like everything. So meanwhile, so 500 years uh, ago, 500 years back, Copernicus was uh, proposing a theory. So his theory was uh, so many scientists are accepted. What is that theory means? So heliocentric theory, otherwise the sun centric theory, sun centric theory. According to his theory, the sun is uh, in the center. The sun is in the center, and which are the other planets are there revolving around the sun? Such a theory was proposed by the Copernicus. Most of the scientists are accepted this is a Copernicus theory. That means he was against the geocentric theory, Ptolemy theory. He was against the Ptolemy theory and geocentric theory. Earlier, all the people are believe Ptolemy theory is correct. But later, 500 years ago, Copernicus was said about that uh, heliocentric theory that means the sun is in the center and other planets are all revolving around the sun. At last, the human beings or scientists are understood about that. Which are the stars are the, they are the formed as a group. Millions of the stars are the formed as a group. They are called what is uh, galaxies. In these galaxies, the stars are part. Some millions of the stars these are the galaxies are the form. So by studying the universe, universe there uh, come to an understanding. Recently, Big Bang theory was also proposed. According to this is the Big Bang theory, 13 0.7 million years ago, 13.7 million years ago, so the universe was formed. The stars, after the stars, the planetary systems of various uh, stars. So like uh, a Big Bang theory was also here is formed. So now, Habis, the condition is the, the scientists, the human beings are reached beyond the solar systems, reaching to the other planets also, reaching to the far of the planets also, such as Mars. So like these studies are always about the universe are always say about that the sun and earth, solar system like this is. And uh, finally the scientists are concluded. What is that the conclusion means? Stars are born. How is the human being is born? The stars are born. How is the human being is living, growing and uh, so it is come to an old age and after that old age uh, die even so which of the stars are there they are uh, born grow and live and finally they are uh, come to an end uh, like uh, this is uh, discovered by the this is uh, so investigated by the scientists so recently also the scientists are said, the science is saying, in the sun also there are uh, black spots are forming, black spots are forming. So black spots are forming means uh, its lighting is becomes uh, 
down so it becomes a gel that means at the one time the far off distance uh, even our uh, sun is also will be right like uh, the science is saying the scientists are the saying about this is the solar system about this the universe sun and uh, earth and uh, in the coming chapter in the coming episode i am going to teach you about that the uh, our earth what our earth what are the things are they how it is the earth made up of what are the things are they inside of the earth which are the elements are they the on the surface of the earth like all this is we are going to discuss in the coming episode